Welcome to the key to all of this with Tim and Dylan. I'm Dylan. That's Tim. What's up, Tim? Unfortunately. Unfortunately for what? That I'm Dylan? <laughs> Just no, that I'm myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it because you sound like shit? <laughs> <laughs> we had a free show. The show we, we don't swear. About That's how it. he was going to call out my cold. Yes, yeah. I have a cold what, during the hottest point of the year so far, um, yeah. which makes no sense to me, but here we are. And my sickly Palpatine-like uh, uh, composition over here is just not too engraved. Mm -hmm. But it. I am the Senate, so mm -hmm. you are. And Mountain Dew it. So <laughs> it's the week of May fourth, uh, favorite time of the year because uh, we're Star Wars people. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on in Star Wars, a lot of stuff that's like happening very fast. And uh, mm -hmm. release dates being announced and wrapping up of filming. So we wanted to kind of discuss today uh, new shit that's coming out. I swore again. Um, this is supposed to be a cute podcast. Uh, and we're going to kind of dive deep into like what our favorite things are that are coming out. Um, I, I'm i just going to go ahead and go first. Because go for it. Dive have, right in. Start first thing away. Well, people just want to hear me. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not your gravelly. It's not a, it's not a 50, 50, 50, 50, 20, 80. Yeah. Uh, so Tim and I are massive fans of Star Wars games. We play Battlefront. Uh, we played it religiously for years. Uh, the first one f remake and the second one a lot. And then uh, a few weeks ago, we went back and started playing the remakes of the 2004 and 2005 game. I'm very excited for Star Wars Outlaws. Me too. I, I think it's going to be a dramatic new game. Yeah. I specifically purchased a Play PlayStation 5 so that I could mm -hmm. play that game. Not knowing when it's going to be released. I could have waited another three months to get it. But that's going to be incredible. Yeah. I think it's just going to be everything that... Star Wars fans want and you know uh, I just I'm excited to see which planets are going to be uh, new which are, re mm -hmm. are reoccurring um, yeah it's every Star Wars fan stream after Star Wars Galaxy's uh, uh, demise that yeah. uh, to visit planets and to to kind of like go off and create your own character so this is just uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to it too yeah, and it's being promoted as a completely open world game, but watching the the footage from it, it kind of looks like you're stuck on a certain path for some things, uh, which reminds me more of the Star Wars Jedi games, uh, Survivor yeah. and Fallen Order. But I really do hope it's open world, and I would 100% be okay with it being one planet that you can visit, a whole new one. So then they don't have to worry about IP or, you know, tainting Tatooine or whatever. Give us a brand new planet. Let us just play along on that one completely. I don't need to leave to go to another place. If it's completely open world, like Grand Theft Auto or yeah. uh, Red Dead Redemption, just do it. No borders. You can explore the whole thing. Mm -hmm. No border walls to climb. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that'd be the ideal um, scenario, especially like with the rise of like Bot Two and stuff like that. Like, I, I would, I would love Bot Two to be a playable, you know, planet, um, mm -hmm. and see Black Spire Outpost. I just think that uh, you know, sometimes when there's because there's so many different versions of iconic planets. Yeah, that seeing them again in a different light when it doesn't exactly match up, you know, it can be a little disappointing, especially if it's like, you know, you know, if you're playing Twilight on Hoth, you're not like, well, where in Hoth is this? Yeah. You know, you're more excited to just, you know, bring down an AT. AT. Um, and uh, I think that it gives more uh, of an option to create something that's new that won't betray fans uh, by yeah. offering a planet that's never been seen before. Yeah. And they don't have to worry so much about Canon. There's not much research. If you create a brand new planet for this game yeah. with that said, um, 
I don't want it to just be a desert planet. That's basically what we've seen. Mm -hmm. I would like to see, you know, I, I mean, I would like to see speeder bikes and uh, let's just go to Endor. Let's do it. Um, I yeah. want to see different landscape. Um, so it'd be nice kind of like in Grand Theft Auto, you're in Hollywood and you can go to essentially Joshua Tree. You can go to Malibu and stuff. So you've got the ocean, you've got everything. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm going to love the game for what it is. And hopefully other people do too. And when we get a second one, you know, five years down the, the line, you know, it expands even more. Um, there's pre-order DLC that's a few like raids uh, or um, heists and that kind of stuff. But it'll be cool to get... Twenty dollars, and you buy a new planet that you can explore. Um, yeah. yeah, it would. I own this planet. That. Yeah, me too. Um, I also want to give a little shout out to my brothers Justin and Ryan. It is their birthday today. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday! The dynamic duo. Mm -hmm. That is what they call themselves to this day. <laughs> um, so, Tim, what was uh, something you had on your list? <laughs> Well, everyone's talking about how, uh, you know, may the fourth be with you and everything like that. But um, um, I'm also all about uh, Bib for Juna, oh. the my name for <laughs> June 4th. I like that. <laughs> which is when the Acolyte uh, comes out. And um, one thing that dropped, I think, in like a Korean trailer is uh, there's going to be Nemodians. Um, <clears throat> yep. In that. And for those who don't know, they're the aliens who um, basically run the Trade Federation and instigate the initial <coughs> blockade of Naboo. And um, I'm really excited, I think, that uh, for the whole series in general. I think mm -hmm. we might get to see a young Yoda. I just think it's going to be it's going to be great. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's. It's definitely in my top 10 uh, Star Wars things. There's so much stuff going on. Um, I know, true. I, I'm excited because I'm going to see episode one in theaters on the 7th. May the 7th be Webbent. And <laughs> there's supposed to be a preview for The Acolyte before the movie. So, oh, that's great. I mean, that's fine. I would go just for that. Uh, th yeah, that's it. You're not going to sit through. I'm not sitting <laughs> through it. episode one. I just well, need four minutes of uh, the accolade. Yeah. Um, so speaking of series, I'm going to jump down because I, I had them in order of how, how sure. excited I am. Uh, we talked about May the 4th. Um, that's what this whole thing's about. Uh, that's key to all of this. Uh, also releasing May 4th is Tales of the Empire. Yes. Uh, okay. It's going to be great. I'm too. Tales of the Jedi was so good. And it gave us stories that I didn't know I needed, but I appreciated seeing how Yaddle uh, ended up after episode one. Yeah, well, you don't see her anymore. And yeah. uh, how soon that uh, Dooku jumped ship mm -hmm. from light to dark. <laughs> and have you, seen, you saw all of it? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so with the Tales of the Empire, we had Tales of the Jedi. What I want to see, I want to, I want this to do well because I want more Star Wars, but I really want Tales from Jabba's Palace. And I want oh, to follow kind of the inner workings of how Jabba rose to power, but also the shady stuff that happened. Mm -hmm. and, well, I think there's already talk of like Tales of the Bounty Hunters. Yeah. <laughs> being the next one. But um, I'm all about that. Yeah, I'm really God. excited. I can't see. I know General Grievous is going to be in this one. Uh, Night Sisters. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that like building out that. I mean, I think that's one of the coolest additions uh, into the Star Wars universe is just the Night Sisters and um, you know um, Inquisitors and stuff yep. like that. And, uh, Zombies. Yeah, I yeah. just think it's you know you get to see Morgan Elspeth again, and mm -hmm. yeah, I just think it's going to be. Um, it's going to show things. Uh, what I thought Tales of Jedi did well is it shows, gave such a tragic motivation for Count Dooku. Yeah. You know, where you saw, you know, he's not just this like, um, you know, what, uh, this villain who you never really explains why he wants things. You know, he just wants mm -hmm. to, you know, thinks the 
Senate is corrupt, but we yeah. don't ever really get the sense of that. And th to see it over and over and over again in Tales of the Jedi, where you're like, yeah, I kind of kind of see, and I, and I don't know how I would act differently. Um, so to to apply that to all the real real villains, mm -hmm. you know, um, that have appeared in some of the newer shows, I think that's going to be really cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm all about it. I, anything, I like that they're doing just mini series of this and it's not something that we have to invest, you know, four or five years into, um, yeah. or like 12 years, like they did with clone wars with the movies and everything. It's to the point, here's a story I want to tell in, you know, eight episodes, uh, 10 minutes long, basically. I'm very excited for that. That's, um, that's my number four on my list. So I've provided number one and number four. Uh, what's another one that you had, Tim? Um, I had, uh, I know, there's mum on this, uh, but Lando, mm. I think, is going to be a big announcement, at least in maybe like D23. Yeah. Because I was thinking the ages are starting to match up between how old Bill, Billy D. Williams was. <laughs> he was like 42 <laughs> when they were filming Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. And I think that, uh, you know, with Donald Glover being 40 right now, in the next couple of years, it might be fun to see <clears throat> track Lando between Empire and uh, Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah. Or right after Return of the Jedi, uh, you know, around that time period, um, uh, getting to see, you know, not quite the younger version of him, but, you know, yeah. maybe in between actual canon, you know, episodes uh, would be great. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm looking forward to. And I have a, I have a hunch that, that'll be announced in, you know, by the, the summer. Yeah. Yeah. I would assume so. I, I really just want it to be like a bedtime story style show where it's Billy D Williams reading through all of the crazy stuff that he <laughs> went through as, as yeah. a, a, a younger guy. And then it's Donald Glover just acting it all out. Um, yeah. I think that that would be, that'd be a great way to have both of them involved. And yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting seeing Donald Glover as Lando Return of the Jedi because he his appearance hasn't really changed from the solo movie. So yeah. I wonder if they'll do any kind of like prosthetics or or anything. May have the aging world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Uh, that's also obviously in my top ten, uh, but not in my top five. I want to go with number two. This is, sure. I love the Mandalorian and I love Grogu so much. The first thing I bought my daughter was a stuffed Grogu uh, just before she was born. So it was there, not at the hospital when she was uh, pushed out, but it was at home waiting for her when they, after they wiped her off and, you know, sent her home with us. Um, I'm incredibly excited for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. It's uh, filming like next month and supposed to release uh, May 2026, which is also the same year we're supposed to be getting new Jedi order. Um, mm -hmm. But that's like, I'm so excited for that because it's bridging the gap between six and seven. And it's explaining more of the stuff that a lot of the fans didn't like about seven, eight, uh, six, seven, and eight, or no, sorry, seven, eight, nine. And, kind of making sense of the cloning and pretty much just, you know, how the, the new Republic or uh, sorry, the new yeah. order, um, first order, sorry. The first order is like coming into play. So I see that, I see that movie as, you know, tying in skeleton crew and Ahsoka Mandalorian, and then everyone just being happy with the resolution. Yes, I want uh, desperately to have, you know, for the sake of all these heroes that have laid down their lives mm -hmm. uh, over the course of nine films, to just have some some peace yeah. <laughs> eventually at some point in their lives. Um, you know, I think that's really great. And, um, you know, I think a lot of these moments that are kind of controversial moments where it's like somehow he, Palpatine returned, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're doing a great job in a lot of the, uh, newer uh, TV shows, especially, but now that they're branching out to movies, I think that will 
resolve and settle a lot of these uh, outstanding issues that some fans might have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I think it, it will get the return of Boba Fett and Fennec Shand, which mm -hmm. I'm all about. But give me Dash Rendar, okay? Give he me Dash. Dash. Rendar. He saved we the talked galaxy about at length. Yeah, and also I want to see Bosk. I want to see Bosk return and actually mm -hmm. like join the fight. Um, and Dengar. <laughs> I just love Dengar so much. I want to everything. <laughs> Just keep um, going. So, yeah. So you and the had, gonk droid. You had a third item. Oh yeah, gonk droid. Bring us the gonk. Uh holdo yes. maneuver the gonk droid directly into anything that's being filmed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. His legs barely touching the ground. Mm -hmm. But his his courage is, you know, through the roof. Yeah, what episode was that? The Rose Tico, uh, Rose Tico episode that we were talking about. I think so. Oh yeah, because I can't she's talk the only about hero. Of... I really can't talk about it because it really will make me cough so much. Yeah. But I was laughing hysterically <laughs> at the thought of this Gong Droid volunteering himself to be on this Kamikaze mission to plow into. <laughs> and he's just <laughs> just kicking his feet. Destroyer, Gong. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, yeah. Sick in the mind and also in the body for for mm -hmm. wishing that. But mm -hmm. you're you're like yes, I I know this is exactly Tim. common knowledge. You had a third third item. What was that? Um, <coughs> I honestly oh, you want to talk about your uh, cough third item was, Yeah, I was just talking about cough, but I know it's kind of a little abstract. But I think uh, I I just want to say Galaxy's Edge in general. Um, because mm -hmm. I think that, um, Disney is always making modifications and, uh, yeah. adding more and up, updating more. And I would not be surprised that, you know, as, um, as we get more films and, and, and series, uh, we're going to see, I think will be a major update to, <coughs> to, uh, galaxy's edge. Yeah. Um, and just something to watch out for. So that's something I'm really excited about. It's hard to quantify how that will be changed, but I just have a feeling that just as they updated, um, you know, Star Tours from, mm -hmm. you know, this definitely takes place <clears throat> around Return of the Jedi. Yep. Um, uh, it, it's going to be um, more fluid, you know, what time period it takes place in as, as Star Wars progresses and how old it is. Yeah. They should buy, Disney should buy extra land a little bit further away and then have mm -hmm. a tram that goes from one to the other, but you have it completely decked out like Star Tours. You do it like Universal, yeah. Yeah, and then they drop you off there and then they pay us because of the idea I had. Yes, sure. you get residuals every yeah. time someone gets on the transport. Yeah, no, just, just the initial <laughs> idea. Um, I'm not going to be like... <laughs> stingy also shout out peace blaster what's up buddy um How's it going, yeah, peace I'm, I'm looking forward to yeah the updating with that because you know it's not like the simpsons ride or the simpsons you know land that has to stay the same forever it needs to con you know star wars needs to constantly update um black spire outpost cool i'm with yeah it. i'm excited to see what they they do um and or season two Finished filming in yes. February, and I think Rogue One in Andor season one is the best Star Wars that Disney has done, hands mm -hmm. down. Like I can't look at it and say anything bad. Really, uh, Boar Gullet could have looked more realistic, but other than that, I'm in. Uh, absolutely, and also for a show <coughs> about espionage. It was also just like a very, um, it, it showed uh, behind the scenes of an entire class conflict mm -hmm. with against the Empire. And it was very nuanced. And I think that, <clears throat> you know, where it left off is like really going to be the start of a uh, kind of Cold War style uh, spy thriller. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I, I was shocked about how little spying actually took place in Andor season one 
and I was not disappointed at all yeah. with any of the decisions. I was yeah. really, it really was surprising. It didn't feel formulaic at all. <clears throat> it felt, it really like it didn't dumb it down for the, for the viewer. I just was, I was really impressed. Yeah. I mean, they're at a strip club the first five minutes of the show. Like that's mm. so un Star Wars, but everything about that screamed Star Wars while also being a completely different genre of anything yeah. that they had done before. Obviously, it's fairly similar to Rogue One or Andor's character, essentially in Rogue One, of playing whatever side to do the right thing. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm excited for that. Um, did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Because um, I've got one more uh, item. But... Oh, no, I, it's all you. Okay, well, here I go. New Jedi Order. That's uh, yes. supposed to be December 2026. It's I'm excited about this because I feel like the backlash for 7, 8, and 9 was over so much quicker than any, any of the backlash that was from 1, 2, and 3, like fan backlash. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think that it's it, the dust settled very quick. So now it's like, okay, it, this could be better planned out. They obviously know if you're going to do another movie with Ray, it needs to make sense. You can't be doing the somehow Palpatine returned. You have to tell the full story. Uh, and I think they'll they'll get it right. Uh, if you look at all the stuff that Star Wars has canceled over the years after, um, you know, fan backlash, I think that they're trying to do the right thing. Yes. So I'm excited. And set, up things, set things up. You know, I think they have... I think they, you know, whether we are aware of it or not, they're probably setting things up now that'll appear in in that movie, you know, yeah. to to fill that background that was missing in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, I would like to see Finn return. Mm -hmm. For sure. I don't think I need Poe. Maybe if they end up doing a trilogy, give me Poe and Zori Bliss, Happy Family in the second one. But mm -hmm. this one needs to focus on Finn and Ray, whether Finn's a good guy or a bad guy. But he needs to tell Ray, look, I'm force sensitive. That was like yeah. the, the biggest thing from seven, eight, and nine that That's what he wanted to tell her the whole yeah. time. And he never did, never yeah. got a chance. So and for him to say, look, I you know, I'm force sensitive, and then he ends up being bad boy force sensitive. Yeah. Boom. Then you've got a great story. Um, it's not an empire versus rebellion. You know, it's it's no big wars. It's internal conflict. Yeah. But then, yeah, obviously, perfect. you should go to war in the movies because it's called Star War. Um, yeah. But, yeah, that's it. Anyone, we've got a bunch of people watching now, which is great. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, comment and let us know what you're excited about for... Uh, May the 4th this year, or uh, how you celebrate. Yes, we'd love to know how you're going to uh, make your protocol droids, serve you drinks, mm -hmm. and uh, what um, yeah, what you're going to eat, how how many times you're going <laughs> to cry. You eat it. <laughs> we want to know what you're eating, how you're going to eat it, um, eat it. who is going to be there with you while you eat it. And how much you're willing to let me pay you to, to watch you eat those things. Yeah. All important questions. Yeah. Comment below the link to where <laughs> we watch you eat for May the 4th, uh, 2024. Um, mm -hmm. the 2024. We'll say that. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Um, obviously I'm celebrating by watching Empire, uh, <laughs> Empire, uh, episode one on the seventh. So, it's kind of like a birthday thing for me. I spent a week celebrating uh, May the 4th. But I will definitely be watching all of Tales of the Empire. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll put Rogue One on to, to go to bed. Yeah, I think I'm going to watch the original one on the actual holiday. And it should be a holiday, I think, yep. at this point. You know, enough people celebrate it. Yep. That, and uh, uh, Bib for Juna. You have to, uh, yes. <laughs> you have to do that. I, and then I've been waiting. I've been waiting to use that, this hashtag, 
of Bib Fortune uh, for when the uh, Acolyte is re released. And I'm so glad I got a chance to do it tonight. Good. I'm going to steal it. Bib Fortune. All yours. <coughs> uh, well, that's all I've got, Tim. Yeah, I can't uh, I can't cough anymore. So Good. that's it for me. Send us home. Uh, May the 4th be with you. And also Since it's you. a May the 4th. Ah, oh, thanks. Stream ended. We are offline. Uh, yeah. Super fun. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what we get for viewers with this one. And yeah, see if it goes. Because we had seven people the whole time watching. Um, That's great. But that's and that's just YouTube. So I didn't even check to see anything with Facebook. Like I did have a drink with me a few weeks ago and I had three hundred and ninety five people watching. Three hundred and ninety five people. Oh yeah. my god. That's like people just on Facebook being like, I guess I'll watch this. Yeah. That's and great. Yeah. It's like a full auditorium. A full house. Yeah. Um yeah, I want to see if I, if there's any analytics yet for Facebook because Facebook always does really well. Um, yeah, and YouTube has been doing really well too. Um, yeah, I guess it's not showing. Whatever. Uh, cool. Yeah, I uh, I like it. Yeah, we me did too. good. Fun. We did good. I wish it felt better, but same. Well, okay. Oh, it was so annoying listening to you cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those things where you really, I really had to think about what I wanted to say. Usually, I'm just like, you know, it just comes out, and then because yeah. I was like, I really have to think about all the sounds my my voice is trying to make and failing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, a lot of the sounds your voice was making were coughs. 